Event Planning – Choosing Your Staff, Consultants, and Volunteers When selecting your staff and signing on volunteers for an event, you want to choose people who exhibit many of the qualities you must have as an event planner. Of course, your accountant, insurance agent, and attorney don't have to be event planners or coordinators themselves, but they definitely need to be familiar with the industry. Your assistant and other team members who work the event during the planning stages and on site, however, do need to have these qualities. Positive, effective, and open communication skills. Keen, big picture, and minute detail and organizational skills. Superior, effective, and compassionate people skills. Passion for the profession in each event. They need to be capable of being flexible. They have to have good stamina for working long, physical, demanding hours and they need great time management skills. They also need to be level-headed, creative and innovative, calm and gracious even under extreme stress, easy to respect, be multitaskers, be dedicated team players, have an eye for and commitment to detail, possess industry knowledge and expertise, and be capable of thinking on their feet. Although you may go it alone on smaller events, performing all the event planning duties yourself while relying on the venue, supplier, and catering staff to perform all the on-site duties, the ideal event management team would include a permanent staff of you, your assistant, a transportation manager, food and beverage manager, office and registration manager, decorating manager, bookkeeper, marketing manager, and a technology manager. You also need an accountant, legal advisor, and insurance specialist. These are not typically staff positions except in the multi-million dollar event planning firms. If the event is a destination event, you may add a destination consultant and customs broker. If you have volunteers, they should work in teams organized by skill sets and reporting to the appropriate manager. Now let's take a closer look at what proficiencies each of these people need. You, the event planner. In video module one, we address the topic, what is an event planner? In short, you are in charge of managing your team from the moment an event plan begins through the final post-event reporting. Your areas of responsibility include, but are not limited to, creating the plan, managing the budget, selecting the venue, establishing the dates, creating the agenda, identifying service providers, negotiating the contracts, obtaining insurance and permits, securing speakers, presenters and entertainers, marketing the event, arranging transportation and transfers, managing and managing the event on site. Event planners make between $5,000 and $250,000 a year, depending on the number and scope of events they manage. The Event Planner's Assistant Your assistant is your mini-me, your number two. This, this person is an executive assistant with experience and ability in all of the skills you have. This individual does not necessarily plan on becoming an event planner himself, but she does need to fully understand the industry in order to execute your directions and assist you in managing your team. Your assistant's major role is to act as your facilitator, making sure that you have everything you need to make decisions and set direction, and taking any responsibilities that someone else can handle off your plate. An executive assistant commands a salary between $32,000 and $50,000. Bookkeeper. Maintaining, updating, auditing financial records can be time-consuming and sometimes confusing. If you manage one big annual event a year or many events throughout a 12-month period, you should have a trained bookkeeper who can generate whatever financial reports you need without you having to expend excessive time with the finances. This staff member should handle budget entries and adjustments, the general ledger, deposits, cash, etc., and have the minimum of an associate's degree in bookkeeping practices. You can expect to pay your bookkeeper around $30,000 a year to start. Decorating Manager The ideal decorating manager would have a background as an administrative services manager, someone who is accustomed to managing the smooth operations of business facilities. This person would be responsible for making sure that everything from staging to lighting and linens to flower arrangements match the vision for the event and will work with the supplier's point person to ensure accuracy, quality, and contract fulfillment. This individual will negotiate prime preliminary contracts for your approval as they relate to her areas of responsibility. This individual will likely have a bachelor's degree in business and request a salary between $37,000 and $52,000 a year. 
Food and Beverage Manager. The perfect food and beverage manager for your staff will have a background in both business and the food and beverage industries. A person who has some college level business training and has managed a restaurant or catering business, for example. Like the decorating manager, he will negotiate contracts with all food and beverage providers and work with the vendors point people on menus, room sets, etc. This person will receive between $32,000 and $47,000 annually, and more if they are administrative service manager trained with a specialty in food service. Marketing Manager Your marketing manager will have at least a bachelor's degree as well as a background in advertising, promotions, public and press relations, and market research and strategy. Strategy. He will be responsible for the design of all marketing materials, developing and maintaining press lists, buying media, working with graphic artists and printers, coordinating web development, and generally making sure everyone who needs to know about your event knows about your event. This position has a public relations emphasis and the sal average salary is about $89,000. Highly skilled full service marketing professionals command six figure salaries. Office and Registration Manager. The office manager will know quite a bit about everything that goes on with every event, much like your executive assistant. He or she will exe execute your directives while making sure that all processes, systems, and equipment are running properly and well. This person will answer phones, respond to inquiries, manage registration before and during the event, buy supplies, manage, ma manage mailing and shipping, etc. Available to assist all the supervisors, this person is the glue that keeps the team together. The average salary for an office manager is about $46,000. Technology Manager Your technology manager should be responsible for your office technology as well as the AV and special technologies incorporated in the event or events. This person should be an IT expert with great people skills as she will have to interface with a web designer, manage networks, set up on-site technologies, negotiate AV contracts, and much more. Because of the skill sets demanded of the technology manager, she can easily command upwards of $65,000 a year. Transportation Manager Having a team member who can focus solely on transportation and transfers for events is an event planner's ultimate luxury. Because event planners are responsible for making the entire event experience, you are responsible for making the attendee, presenter, and VIP transportation to and from the event as painless as possible. It is also your job to arrange transportation for everyone during the event if more than one venue is used. If you manage a lot of events, this person is indispensable. An ideal candidate is someone who has worked in the transportation industry as an airline and or airport employee, limousine driver, or even commercial freight manager. They need to speak the language of transportation, which isn't on most college curriculums, but learn by experience. Depending on the skill level required, this staff member will be paid $32,000 to $60,000 a year. Accounting Consultant an accountant will look over all of the work your bookkeeper has done for an event, series of event, and or at year end. Your accountant will also do your tax work and coordinate with auditors. Certified public accountants or CPAs start at about $50,000 a year but work for you by the hour on an as needed basis. Customs Consultant you only need a customs broker when you are managing overseas event and you and other participants will be shipping items to the destination country. This person prepares all the documents required to clear your shipments through customs quickly and efficiently and represents your interests when in contact with customs officials. Ask your venue if they have a list of brokers they've worked with in the past or contact the country's customs office. Customs brokers make between $45,000 to $100,000 a year and typically charge hourly for their consulting services. Destination Consultant Destination management company consultants help you develop an event in unfamiliar overseas or far away locales. They are local to the area where you are holding the event and can advise you about venues, hotels, dining, travel activities, and everything else related to regional event management. The average salary for a destination management consultant is about $50,000, but they bill you by the hour and might be paid by membership organizations they represent. Insurance Consultant Your insurance agent is almost always paid by the insurance carrier or carriers who maintain and underwrite your policies. Some agents do offer free-based planning consultations. Your, con your consultant will help you determine the need for and obtain event liability, weather, cancellation, annual event, vendor and exhibitor, entertainment, and wedding insurance policies. 
Legal consultant. Your attorney should be expert in negotiating and finalizing event-related contracts. She should also know quite a bit about event management liability and be able to review your insurance policies to ensure they are adequate. Attorneys typically charge by the hour, starting at about $200 on the average. Volunteers. Your volunteers don't charge you a salary, but they should be appreciated. Invite them to attend all food and beverage functions and other activities they, that they are not responsible for during the event. Your volunteers should show some experience or expertise in the areas you'll assign to them, for example, decorating technology, food and beverage, and office management. Early in your career, learn how to communicate to your clients the importance of having a strong team. Find ways to show them how the expense of your personnel pays dividends to the event and ultimately saves the client money because each staff person knows how to obtain the greatest results for the least investment. With the right team, all trained and managed well, all of your events will be tremendous successes.